Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air And you know that I've been suffocating You could be the one to help But my issues are nauseating I don't wanna bring you down I just wanna be free from the freak Feel love for the first time I just wanna love something about me See something to open my eyes Don't wanna be the only one with a house key Have something I'm proud of I wish we were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me And we'd be out of sight, out of mind Driving windows down with your hand in mine I think this might be one of my last summer vlogs because we go back to work in two weeks. Yeah, time flies. And I am gonna do a prep with me vlog like I did last year, but I just wanna do a summer vlog. Yesterday, Brandon and I got my oil change finally. And then I had to get my eyes checked or I got an eye appointment because I want to order more contacts. Thank goodness for my insurance. The eye exam and my contacts would have cost, I don't know, almost $200. Thank goodness for insurance because I didn't have to pay anything. USA probs. But you know what? I'm just really grateful that I got insurance. I remember I when I didn't have insurance, I had to pay out of pocket and that was not fun. Okay, so I've showed this before. This is the Productivity Planner, and this is what it looks like the inside. It has a quote on the top. This one quote says, don't wait for the opportunity, create it. It has the time. If you want to be super productive, you could put in the task on the side. Important task, secondary task, subtask, highlight of the day, what, I, what did I learn today? What did I want to remember from today? And then notes on the side. And I haven't used this in so long because I'm so used to using my to-do list right here. And I am running out, look. Oh, I don't even know if you can see that. This productivity planner is from the company Intelligent Change, which they own the five minute journal. I use this all the time, this journal. Okay, I'm about to straight this crazy hair. I feel better with straight hair, but this is my own struggle since I was little. Because growing up, all my friends had straight hair and I would get so annoyed that I was the only one with like curly, wavy hair and it was so annoying. I always straight it. I definitely need to learn how to embrace my natural hair. I think I need that hair diffuser. A diffuser, is that what it's called? Where like it helps with your curls and curls and stuff. But if you have curly wavy hair and you use a diffuser, do you use any products and stuff? When I straight my hair, I like to use this first. Argan oil what I like to use before I put it all over my hair and then after I straight my hair I put this I spray this this coconut mist at my mom actually like gave this to me because I was like oh I like it so she just gave it to me Wednesday, almost 8 a.m. Just ate my yogurt. We're gonna go to the gym, and today's gonna be a busy day. So, gym, come home, gonna eat. After that, we're gonna go to our TSA pre check appointment. 
and we're in the process of applying for the TSA pre-check. That way, when we travel, we just go to the fast lane instead of the long line for the TSA pre-check. You don't have to take your shoes off. You don't have to take some stuff out of your backpack and stuff like that. You just go straight through. We're gonna try to apply for that and I will probably update you on the process if you are interested in doing the TSA pre-check. And then after that, I'm gonna come home, hopefully eat something fast, cause I have to babysit. Sometimes I babysit for a family when they wanna have date nights and stuff. And that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna quickly talk about like the TSA pre-check application program, just in case if you are interested in it. Brand and I applied, you put in your application, it takes like, I don't know, 10 minutes to put your information in. You do the application online, so tsa.gov. After you apply, you go, you make an appointment in person at this certain place that you have to provide um, documentation and do fingerprints and it costs $85 to do it. And if you do get approved, it lasts for five years, which I think is like super worth it. It lasts for five years, only $85. Um, once you're approved, you get like a, this specific uh, traveler number and when, whenever you book your tickets and stuff, you put your traveler number in there and then when you print out your boarding pass or you have your boarding pass like on the app or something, it'll just like indicate that you're in the TSA pre-check program. I wanna do this because again, you take your shoe, you don't have to take your shoes off, you don't have to take your like belts or anything like that, you don't have to take anything from your bag. And I always bring my laptop. Brandon sometimes bring his camera stuff. You don't you don't wanna take all that stuff. It's such a hassle to take everything out and like your jackets and stuff. Kind of annoying because people are behind you trying to do their thing too. But for TSA pre-check, you just go through the line and not have to worry about all that stuff. Our appointment is in an hour and a half. I have our stuff in here, so documents like my marriage certificate because I changed my last name, um, social, you could even do your like license, uh, passport, whatever. This doesn't indicate that we've approved, but it'll take like three or five days or even 60 days to see if you got approved or not. I don't see why Brandon and I won't get approved, but we'll see in three to five days or it can take up to 60 days, probably depends on your back. Brandon got me coffee. This is the white mocha latte with oat milk with an extra shot. Dutch Bros is way better than Starbucks. Don't come at me, but it's true. I'm gonna make this. This is so yummy. You need to try it. It's from Trader Joe's. like five minutes each just she just took her fingerprints took a picture and I brought so much of my like my documents and she only took one just my passport, passport. passport so, much more. so is that the meaning we're already does that mean we're done yeah we're done we're just waiting for if we get approved but like so like, is that is this is it, was that our application and once it's done like we're we're pre-checked yeah like, that's how it is yeah Okay, it's only the global bucks. is different. You did the application already. Online. Just make an appointment, do the fingerprints. Eighty-five dollars for the fingerprint, and then three to five days you get approved, depending on your backup travel number, yeah. and then get your number. Oh. And then that number, the traveler's number, um, we have to keep it because we're gonna always use that. I'm literally gonna write it on my passport, like on a sticky note or something. Yeah, is that what she said? Yeah, she said put it somewhere in port. Some oh, post-it post note, yeah. She said, put it on a post-it note somewhere, mm -hmm. like somewhere that you, like, you're not gonna forget. Save the email, you know what I mean? She's like, just save it. But it was definitely super fast, quick, loved it. Um, yeah, you just use like a really, you just use like a building that does like notarized documents and like drug tests and like document signs. They, that's, they, you know, yeah, they she was quick, fast, and now we're going home. It literally took us, Ten minutes total. Total. Like being built, like basically. But everyone's experience is gonna be different. Again, depends where you. Yeah. How busy your building is. Like we went to just like a small business that does like tiny documents and tests for people. So now I'm gonna go home, probably eat something, cause I'm gonna babysit in two hours. Yeah.
oh no <laughs> good morning everyone it is thursday and we got dutch bros again because it's so good you need to mix it around addicted wait is that the the one? I, was, I have three masters oh anyways. this is the one i was wearing and i was making the zucchini the bread, zucchini bread. Oh, we're gonna go to the bank later that's the one adult thing that we need to do today. We're going to go to the bank today and we're finally going to do a joint account. So let's talk about this really quick. Do you think a married couple should have a joint account? I think you should. You don't really need it just to like, if you're spending, I think you should both have your own income unless you like have a deal or like, unless you're like one person's like staying home and you have kids. If you have kids, but like if you're like yeah. us and we don't have any kids or anything, both people should be working. Because one person should not be sitting at home doing nothing, sure, spending other person's money. But whatever works for you. But again, okay. I'm just saying is that if you don't have kids, it's like it seems it seems it seems less like a marriage to me. For me, I feel like you don't need to have it. Yeah, what, you don't need to have a joint account. But when you like you said, when if you want if to you have, have goals have, together, yeah, a goal like, like a to house. buy a house. Like ours is going to be for like saving for a house, but we mm -hmm. don't need it for bills. We can just we just split the bills and then pay these half, this half. We yeah. We don't need so to have the same account. The main that. reason we're going to do joint account so we can. Uh, put in money for a house in the future. So that way we can see what how much we're putting in. Yeah, that way we have the same, we both have access to put money in there, take out, but it's like, it's- And for well, me, in my opinion, I feel like, I feel like you should also make your own money as well. Like it's good to have like your own bank accounts and also like a joint account. But again, you should never this have one of the, depends you should have on just one the other. your relationship. Again, I think if you're both just you have no kids or no other thing else, you both should be working in some way. I'm not saying people are, you know, going crazy, but like. I know, but again, it's people. Oh, I know. It's, it depends. But I'm saying that's my opinion. If you're both, oh. if you're not, if you don't have kids, it's like why is one person just? I'm saying I'd be upset, and you'd be upset if I'm at home watching TV <laughs> and all you're day, spending my money? watching TV all day, <laughs> buying stuff on Amazon Prime using um. her money. I feel like they should, they should be angry. I would be angry if you did it to me too. I'm like, um. No, I think it's good that we have our own bank accounts that we like. And like we're still split, <laughs> and we're splitting income. <laughs> we're split, splitting the bills and stuff. And whether you're married or not, if you're in a long-term relationship, I feel like you need to know each other's like finance, financial situation, or finance goals, or have the same goals or similar goals with finances. You have the same income and similar like, goals. <laughs> like it's important that you have a plan together because you are a team, right? It's really important that you know your fancy. I think yeah, I think the. The drone account's good for like when you have big purchases that you want to buy together. Like if I'm gonna yeah. buy something on Amazon, like from my computer, <coughs> I don't need a joint account for that. But if we're gonna buy like, if we're gonna buy a house, or even like if we're gonna buy a new or like or a new car, even a new car. Like when we got our other cars, we weren't married and we were just like 21, 22, we were 22, we were 22. I was 22, you're 23. 22 when we, like we were just like together, but we weren't even engaged. But we're gonna have a joint account so we can like start saving for a house because. We need a house. We don't need a house, but I want a house. Um, it's, it's much better than paying <laughs> It's rent. good, yeah. Well, yeah, and it's a good investment. It's really important that you are a team with your partner, whether you're married or not, about finances, because Please. I know one of the, like, one of the reasons why people divorce or break up is because finances. They don't talk about because it. Because they don't talk about it. And it's, I know some people are really uncomfortable talking about finances with your partner, but it's really important to talk about it. So you're on the same page because you are a team. Cheers to that. Cheers. 